going on? What's going on? Hey, it's your boy Skills. How y'all doing? All right. What's up? Okay, my name is Willie Jefferson Jr. I cover video games at the Houston Chronicle. It's the biggest newspaper in Texas, one of the biggest in the United States. So what do I do? I write about video games. I blog about video games. I shoot really cool videos about video games. And I also have a print column in La Volts, and that's our Spanish section. It's called El Video Gamer. All right, so, all right, que pasa mi amigos, man, you know. Follow me. I don't know how to say follow me in Spanish, but hey, just El Video Gamer and Lavoe's Houston. All right, so check this out. All right, let me be clear. But here's the deal. All right, let me be clear on the Xbox One. All right, now y'all heard my crazy predictions, and actually I did a video about my crazy predictions, and one of them was. A 399 Xbox One, but it was buried way in the back. A lot of people haven't seen it. I think it has about 2,700 views. After this video, it may have more, but I'm going to go ahead and cut to the chase, all right? So the deal is this. I've made bold predictions. Most of my bold predictions have come true. I have a couple that haven't, but it does not matter. Here are five predictions that I foresee happening, alright? But the main of all these, what all of these are pointing to, Microsoft releasing a 399 SKU for the Xbox One. Now, I know you're like, skills man, dude, you know, I got number number love for you, but you were like just crazy. Fine. But in the past, my predictions have been spot on, and if not spot on, it's going to be close. Heck, even Michael Patcher, and I, when we were at E3, at the PS4 reveal, we were talking. And I asked him, I said, hey, so what did you think about the Xbox One reveal? Because I know he was there. And he says, too high. And I, I shoved Geese and Cacho, who's with the Bay Area News Group. And I told him, I said, dude, did I just say three ninety nine? dollars He was like, that's a sweet spot. So even, even he, you know, even Patrick's saying that. So, here's the deal, alright? So... I'm making that bold prediction, but let me give you five reasons, all right, why, okay? First reason is Microsoft hates to lose, okay? Yeah, the company has put firms out of business. I mean, honestly, they were responsible pretty much for killing the typewriter, word processor, all that right there with Windows. So... They enjoy dominating. They actually decided, hey, they saw what Sony, what Nintendo, the success they were having in the living room. And they said, hey, let's put our own spin on it. So, that's part of the reason why the Xbox One, when it came out, it had the DRM, um, digital rights management issues, the always online, the policy about playing used games and how all of that they walked away from all of that why because they don't like to lose they're in this to make money now I've had people tell me that's all they're about making money they don't care about their fans and yes I'ma buy a PS4 dude dude okay Sony doesn't care about you either Nintendo doesn't care alright they're they're mainly focused on their share and stockholders. The people that are actually buying thousands of shares of their stock. Those are the people they're trying to please. If people buy their device, and they know people will, but they have brand loyalty, I don't. Seriously, because what it, what's, what's an Xbox One going to do for me? A PS4? A tricked out PC? Nothing. But, like I said, Microsoft hates to lose. So, they came in second place with the Xbox, original Xbox. They came in second, and I know this is open to debate. Well, this generation not over, all right? This generation was technically over when the new generation started. Granted, the PS3 probably will end up selling, outselling the Wii and the 360. But honestly, at that particular point, who really cares? I mean, it's going to be dirt cheap to make anyway. But, like I said, 
they want to come in first and they don't want to lose. Second, Microsoft doesn't want to appear to buy the public pressure. Very similar to Bioware when they let their two top um, founders, okay, the doctors, they let them go. Social media is here to stay. Social media can have, can make or break your business agreements, can make or break your brand. If you do something crazy, look at Paula Dean. Alright? Look at Juror B37, alright? Baby girl was going to do a book deal. Gawker, boom, blew her out of the water. She can forget that book. The book publisher was like, um, not right now. She'll probably end up getting it. But still, social media. Even with Rush Limp Noodle. I mean, I'm sorry, excuse me. Rush Limbaugh. What happened with him? When he was going after Fluke and everything and people started just tweeting about it, social media, and then advertisers started dropping like flies. I'm telling you, there's power with social media. And Microsoft saw that hey you know what we gotta we gotta change this we gotta release this but they needed an event to be able to alright and I'm actually gonna go into that that's gonna be a bonus one alright so number two alright like I said Microsoft doesn't want to appear to bow to public pressure so what do they do just say hey you remember that that Don um, Don Matrick former Microsoft exec when he said we listen to the fans that's partially true, but they also looked at pre-orders, the Jimmy Fallon show when the PS4 dude just totally dissed on the Xbox One publicly. So, all that came into play. So they're like, dang. But all of this is contributing to a 399 Xbox One. Next, Microsoft will not force they will not force gamers to embrace the Kinect. Now, that's open to debate, but I'm telling you right now, the Kinect can track heartbeats. No, seriously, it can. It can track faces from up to, I think, like about four feet away. It's going to be much, much sharper, much better. It's full HD, and it's always on, and you can say Xbox on, so it's listening. And see, that troubles and concerns lawmakers. So they have that new act, well it's a bill, I don't know if they passed it yet, it was like, we're watching you. And that's actually a bill, that's a proposal by lawmakers, and that's squared directly at the Connect. So, yes, I know Microsoft really wants, wants it moving, you know, but gamers, if they have a choice, they don't want, they don't necessarily want something shoved down their throats. They want to have a choice with it. So, you always hear, oh, well, the Connect is required, this and that, blah, blah, blah. Look, they're going to release a SKU that has the Connect, and then they're going to release a SKU that does not have the Connect. All right? That's going to happen late August, early um, September. All right? Well, late August, September. The very latest it will be October, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be, be between August and September. Now, you're saying like, well, why are they going to do that? Why didn't they just do it when they walked back on their other measures that they were really, really excited about? Easy. They needed an event. So, what's the easiest way to usher in change when you have new leadership, when you have new blood, new ideas? So, the new leader that either replaces Aaron Greenberg another Microsoft exec, or Don Matrick, who's now at Zynga, guess what? They can still implement their plan that they had, you know, well before E3 to say, okay, this is what we're going to do. First, we're going to release a new SKU, one without the Connect, that the Connect really is not required. And then you have other ones. Now, what about the gamers that have pre-ordered the Connect bundle? They'd be mad, but yeah, you know what? They'll give them a freebies. You know, maybe like three months Xbox Live or, or different, you know, like extra games or anything. That's how they're going to pacify them. 
or you can just cancel it and then of course just reorder it alright so number four and that goes into this Microsoft will lower the Xbox One to 399 yes you guess it without the 149 connect now I know some of y'all have said y'all seen stories IGN had a story about the 399 connect okay just to connect that's how much it costs but I'm telling you alright it's, it's development there's not mass produced. When they mass produce them, of course, the price will come down. Look for the Connect standalone to be $149, and that's probably bundled with some type of small little game, kind of like the Connect Adventure. And then, of course, if you do buy the bundle with your Xbox One, you're going to get those freebies that I was talking about. As soon as they do that, okay, the heavens will open, the angels will sing. And the gamers will scream, glory, hallelujah. Alright, but here's the thing. When that happens, and the Xbox One is lowered, a lot of people are like, even if it was $399, i am not going to buy it. You'll change your mind once you see the official lineups, launch lineups, and just see, okay, wow, this is pretty good. And guess what? With a $399 Xbox One, competing head to head with a 399 PS4 then both of them have Blu-rays so what is it? It's going to boil down the games so literally you're going to ask yourself okay do I want to play Dead Rising? Do I want to play Rise? Do I want to play um, Killer Instinct, Forza 5, the new Halo title, Titanfall All right? or do I want to play New Kill Zone, Shadowfall All right? do I want to play Infamous Second Son, you know, do I want to play Drive Club? Do I want to go online with my friends, play Drive Club, play multiplayer games? That's what it's going to boil down to. And if the field, if the, if the playing field is level, I'm telling you right now, Microsoft has a huge chance to make a huge comeback. I'm serious. I'm not even talking about LLJ type comeback. I'm talking about one where they will dominate. Simply because Microsoft has the better gaming lineup simply because of the availability of downloadable content DLC. That is going to be the game changer this generation. Just like it was last. Seriously. Microsoft inking these people with either exclusive content or time content that does not come out on the PS4 until God knows when. Seriously, that is full of when. I mean, and that's, that's how you dominate when you get an upper hand on your opponent. So, it's going to be really interesting this, this generation. Um, but I'm telling you right now, it will, you will see a 399 connect. Now, of course, a lot of y'all will probably doubt me. That's fine. But hey, look at my past videos, all right? I haven't been off by much, seriously. I'm kind of like my boy, and um, I even hate to mention this, Daredevil, Bullseye, yeah. So, but that's all I have to say about that, and I'm just saying, let me be clear that I'm not saying that the um, Xbox One will just completely dominate, it will win this generation. The systems aren't out. The games aren't out. We've just seen a couple screenshots. We don't know how they play. So I'm not going to predict that. I mean, even three months in, unless either the Xbox One or PS4 just having issues, Red Rings of Death, the yellow, yellow Light of Death, that kind of crazy stuff, then I'm not sure. Even the Wii could come back. The Wii U and just make a phenomenal return. But we'll see. We'll see. So anyway, stay tuned. Skills, I'm telling you right now, 399 Xbox One is a possibility. It's a lot closer than you really suspect. A lot of people were like, they're not going to drop the used games. They're not going to drop the DRM. Boom, they did. And your boy predicted it. So, all right, anyway, it's your boy Skills. Thank you all for tuning in. The ad should be right here. Click below the ad. Get my information. Put this on blast. Tell everyone, hey, help me trend. I mean, just like my peep said. The Whole Foods on Y and down, like in Montrose, were like, hey, ask one of my coworkers, do you know Mad Skills? He works at the Chronicle. I'm like, I'm trending in Whole Foods? Seriously? 
Okay. But yeah, so seriously, three ninety nine Xbox One, that is doable. Microsoft will do it. Seriously, they're not even even when they do that, the pre orders are still gonna sell out. Not necessarily from scalpers who are trying to just make a quick buck. Of course, they're going to be doing it, haters. But from gamers. And I mean, the launch lineups are going to be phenomenal. And hey, it's going to be awesome. Alright, anyway, it's your boy Skills. Talk to y'all later. Thank you so much for tuning in. Deuces.